floss tube hi floss tube um welcome to crafty cottage stitches this is floss tube number 14 for crafty cottage stitches <laughs> <laughs> i'm Jeanette. i'm heather we're having a morning yeah and today is um saturday march 13th so welcome to our channel where we talk about craft stitch and crafting and decorating and sewing and quilting and everything in between and yeah whatever we come up with yeah so if you're new thank you for subscribing to us thank you for all the nice comments on our last video and i think a lot of people are like finding our earlier videos too and commenting there so that's really nice um and and a big huge thank you to lori um, holt, to lori holt <laughs> for mentioning us on her video um, you guys we got all so excited. <laughs> you guys know that we're like her biggest fans. Um, she's our favorite quilt designer, our favorite. We love her style, love her style, love her fabric. So Lori, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for never sleeping because she keeps coming up with all this stuff. I know. <laughs> I don't even know how she does it. So um, yeah, we were and if you found us because of Lori Holt, thank you and for welcome coming to our channel and welcome. And you'll see, we love all her stuff. Yes. I mean, I'm looking around and a lot of it's hers. So, um, yes. So thank you, Lori, very, thank very you. much. It was once my heart started beating again, <laughs> I, was, I was like, Heather, Heather, Heather. So that she was said it was cool. like Rudolph when, um, oh, yeah. Clarice <laughs> tells him he's cute. It's like, and he's like, we're cute. We're cute. Yeah, that's what we was, felt like <laughs> yeah, it was very it was very nice thank you okay so we're so gonna get on. yes we're gonna get started by announcing a new what segment of our floss tube channel and sew along and craft along and stitch along and decorate and decorate along mm -hmm. um we have been preparing for this for quite some time. Yes. Well, my mom basically has lived her life preparing for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I've kind of mentioned it every time. So, um, that strawberries are kind of our thing yes. in our family. Yes. All of us actually, even Jen loves them. So, yeah. Um, my fact, I thought of it. I have like a scrapbook picture, a scrapbook page of Haley picking strawberries yeah. in your garden. That's like my favorite. I'll show that. I'll probably share that on I Instagram. Almost, I, yeah, I yeah. almost grabbed that out because yeah. she's got this wild hair and she's like two. And um, yeah. I've always made sure there's like a strawberry box with the uh, strawberries. And Evie's been there. talking about it lately. Um, yeah. Picking was... strawberries from your garden. She really likes doing that and planting them. So anyways, yeah. we are going to start our strawberry social um hashtag strawberry social that's s-e-w-c-i-a-l and i'm gonna try and be fancy and pop that up on the screen <laughs> if not if it'll not be it'll below. be linked below and that's all on her because i have no idea what to do so. yeah so that was we my mother's brilliant idea yes because i would love to see you guys um decorate with you know tiered trays and I'll, we'll show a couple of our what do we want to start with first? Some of our know. things that we've been crafting or just some Let's of the see. strawberry stuff you've collected over the years? Um, doesn't matter. Well, first, Have I finished my mug rug. It's wonky. <laughs> it's so pretty, It's though. so cute, though. It's the scrappy um, strawberry from Lori Holtz, Vintage Farm Girl. Is this the one in one or two? It's in one. In Vintage fact, Farm Girl it. one. Um, I made this block early January, I want to say. Yeah, I think so. It's in um, this book. One of the best quilt references ever. Yes. It's a lot of pieces, but it was really fun to put together. Um, and it actually didn't even take hard, me though. that long. I need a better iron. Um, we found that out when she made, well, you'll see something else she made. Yeah, things um, are turn out a little bit wonky. And honestly, I like rush through stuff sometimes because I get so excited <laughs> and it's not that big of a deal because it's a little mug rug. Yeah. Um, first time binding something, as you can tell, I did machine binding on it. We didn't have time for her to come over here so I could kind of guide her through. So it's, no, it is, I just kind of wanted to yeah. give it a shot. Um, I stole this fabric from my mom. I think it's Pam Kitty morning. This it is. The and, and we're down to like less like enough. Cause I, I made something else with it that I'll show you soon. I just did like a um, zigzag stitch to, to tack it down on here. And most of the fabric is Lori Holt. 
Most of it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of it is flea market, Lori Holt, the one in the strawberry. This is not, this check isn't, and this, this stuff on the outside isn't. But yeah, there's my mug rug. And I'm actually going to, I'll show you something that she's going to show. I still have something to add to this. But oh, I yeah, yeah. On one accident. yeah. So I finished my strawberry bag. It's so cute. And I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's it. not wonky. It. Well, I mean, I've got a few years on you, so. I'll get there. Yeah. But I think. This is what I'm going to add to my mug rug. Yeah, she I crocheted a little strawberry blossom. I have a book that has, like, tons of flowers in it, but I'm sure you can find. There. Hide some of the wonky. And I did a couple <laughs> little tiny ones. Um out of thread this is um Lori's That's chunky true. thread Yours is bigger yeah much mine, bigger because yeah. of the thread and the needle but well I needed a little bit bigger so I I will show my so now I have like matching so cute made them exactly the same the same way I always do um but this will hold some uh strawberry wool projects I want to do and I love the colors. Oh my gosh. This is Prim. Um, Prim, a mixture of everything and just an old button I mm -hmm. had. So I think it turned out really cute. It did so turn out super cute. I'll keep my wool, my wool projects in here. So And we will get to cross stitch after we will. this, after well, actually, our announcement. You, ha you actually have this too, so Oh yeah. So you can if you want to show that. Show that next. Yeah. And then I released a new pattern um, on my Etsy shop. It is called, it's a first in a series. I know I keep starting all these series. I will get around This one to. I've already started. Yes. Te I test, test stitched a few things. Yeah, and she then did some model stitching. I wanted to make sure it looked one. okay before I released it. So this is called So Very Sweet. This is just the picture I, um, I showed or I announced it with on my Instagram last night. But it's here. my favorite she's done. Here's and I love all of them, and I love all the gardening ones. But when she did this, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have to do that, like, right now. I you know, love, like yeah, <laughs> I love, love, love <laughs> sawtooth um, quilt patterns. And so sawtooth stars, is that what they're called? Yeah. You know, star, basically <laughs> any pointy star quilt patterns I love. And so I thought that would be perfect to do a strawberry pattern to go along with our strawberry social um, and also have it be, like, quilty related. So... The series, like, I don't have a name for the series. It'll just be cute names to do with, like, seasonal stuff. And I did. In a quilty type pattern. I've started, this was a test, so it's not actually going to be on this fabric. I'm probably going to do it on a green fabric. Didn't we decide, like, water? Yeah, water lily. Yeah, so there's this. There's the start of it. That's what so. it, the strawberry. That's what and the I have big plan. strawberry looks I have looks plans like. for the little piece right here, too. So this has been fun. Isn't it so cute? I love it. It's only like a few colors, too. It's, and it's Isn't all it like DMC. Four colors or something? Mm, I think six. But you could do it less, yeah, you could, for sure. Is there six? Oh, yeah. yeah there's, there's two, two greens, greens, two whites, a yellow, and a red, yeah. basically. Um, so that's available on my Etsy shop now um, at White House Stitchery. And I posted about it on Instagram last night. I but I'll so post much. like a picture of this along with it a little bit later to. And I meant to have this social. completely done, but the last two weeks have been very busy. My husband yeah. changed jobs. He gets up at four something in the morning now. You had to I'm work tired. The coast. I've had to work. So, um, yeah. So we've been, we had two weeks. Let's so, yeah, that's still so very sweet. So, what do you want to show this? Yes. Too? Yes. And mm -hmm. she made. The cutest thing ever. Is that out of that book too, or is that out of the other? I think book? it's out of the other one. Oh darn! Look at this pin cushion I made. Is it the other one? Yeah, it's the jam jar. Yeah. So this is also a Lori Holt pattern. I pulled it from the Lori Holt um, Vintage Farm Girl too. This strawberry is um, the one that's on the jam jar, and she's gonna grab that pattern to show you. Um, I wanted a smaller strawberry, but a smaller, like, scrappy strawberry, so I pulled it off of her 6-inch block because she has the 6-inch and the 12-inch patterns in her books. And it's out of this book. Yeah. So it's out of... It does it on the front? Yeah, it is. That one? I just saw it. It's right here. Oh, there we go. So it's in the jam jar there, but I just wanted the strawberry. And I wanted it scrappy, so I just basically made my own scrap piece of fabric. Like, I just sewed up... I cut up a bunch of, like... Um, charm squares and mini charm squares are those is that what the little ones are i called? think so yeah 
Who's dog is barking? I don't know. We're going to have to close the window. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sure that's very loud to you dog guys. Dog barking in the background. And I'm going to lose Which the drives us nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is I took um, charm squares and mini charm squares and I just chopped them up into little, um, you know, strips. And then I sewed it all back together. And made a piece of fabric to then cut out again to do the strawberry pattern. And it was kind of bulky, but it turned out... If you want a so trick cute. to get that, um, I pressed everything open. And so so I didn't get this to start to lift afterwards. What I did is I put SF-101 on the back and ironed it to it. And I did it to hers too. And it'll hold these. Oh, you did? Didn't we? No, I ended up not. Oh, so we just pressed that one? You that just too. pressed it, yeah. We because my iron that. is just not yeah, working. Yeah, so properly. it will lay super flat that way. If they were all open with tiny little pieces, and it's only because I didn't quilt the front of this. I only quilted around the square. But if you put a stabilizer behind it, it'll hold those seams. Nice and flat. Nice and flat. So you don't get it to start to lift. I know if you've ever done small blocks and they've sat for a while, they'll start to kind of lift up. So that's And this I was like, you. whatever. I'm just going to stuff it yeah. tight to be a pin cushion. It'll be okay. I thought we were going to do that. Yeah. But then but I, I thought maybe by... we didn't because I was turning it into a well, pin and cushion. I well, I clipped some of the seams too and opened them all up. Yeah. And that made it lay down right away. So, so this But you is... can always stabilize it to hold those seams open if you, if you see them opening up. This fabric, what was that charm pack I stole from you? Was that April Rosenthal? I don't know. I'll tell you what that fabric is if you're interested, that red fabric. This is a Bonnie and Camille I just had in my scraps. But some of this other, the red and the green is a I charm pack I took from her. I have it at home. I have that information. Yeah, I don't remember. This is Bee Backgrounds, and then this is that um, Pam Kitty Morning yeah, check yeah. that we're running low on. <laughs> and then just a flea market from Lori Holt. But what I did is I made it into a little pillow. And I had, you know, the hole on the side that I was going to sew shut. And I just did a zigzag stitch on the edges to make it, what do you call that? A flange. A flange. So then I had a spot to clip my wonder clips to. Oh, I thought you were holding a hole open over there. No. That's so good. No, I didn't have a spot for wonder clips. Like, well, why didn't you stitch all the way around? Now I get it. Yeah. It's done. Okay, that's brilliant. I know. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. We actually will have a couple strawberry freebies too. Do you have your papers with those? No. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll grab mine in a little bit. The embroidery? Um, the little strawberry, so you can make the little strawberries. We have a. Link. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. A, we'll link that and show yeah. that. In a little bit, I'll go get it. Yeah. So. Is okay. There any other strawberry thing we need to show? No. Now we can move on. To I'll show you some of my collectibles stuff. after we do the cross stitch. So if you're only here for cross stitch and you're like, "Ooh, these people are rambling about mm -hmm. strawberries," yeah. like a so. bunch of wackadoodles. So I have. Oh, now I'm sweating. I know because <laughs> the, the window's, window's closed. closed. It's beautiful here today, and I think it's supposed to get to 60, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And apparently everybody has let their dog out. We have we have new neighbors, and so I think the dogs are acclimating. Yeah, they're they haven't got to know each other yet. And they're driving the cat, the cat crazy. lady crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I don't have any. I have two or one finish. So I'll show it. Um, it should have been fully finished, but I ended up hating the frame. So I basically, I finished the, I put the thread on the spools. And I, and I sewed the buttons on. It's going to go in this frame. I had it in a different frame and I did not like it at all. I will end up painting this for sure because it is very, very shiny, but I love how it turned out. It's super cute. I think I might have to move this little strawberry over um, now that I just, I just decided to do that this morning. So like um, five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. I kept looking at it and I didn't like it. So, but I think it's perfect for in there and this is going to go on my tiered tray. And I'll show you my tiered tray later. So it's kind of our go-to tiered tray that I, I've bought both my, both my girls and I've owned a couple. So, and then I have, I found the frame for this. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's in the wall frame area and it comes wood, 
but the wood color did not match. This is kind yeah. of a greeny brown and it was terrible with it. it. The frame was beautiful, but so I just painted it, distressed it really good. Um, this morning I went to just to push it in with the glass and the glass split in half, so. You I weren't like manhandling No, it. I just is said that it the in. Buttons in it's there? No, it's oh. because the, um, what are they called? what they're called you said it earlier the glazing tips were way low and so i it hit that glass just right and split right up the middle so i normally put these in and i'll kind of figure out where i want them and then i then i'll the hex I called lace the back so i kind of have an idea where it's going to go and have kind of a guideline when i'm starting but it has to have glass because it's going out in my potting shed yeah we have a long growing season here and my potting shed is like going to be right in my, so it's got to be cute. Mm -hmm. So I think this will be really cute. It's right in our outdoor kind of living area that we're creating. So I like it. But this is a wall frame and it's kind of great. It's kind of gardeny looking to me. So. Yeah. Well, and it matches your shed. It does. So this is um, Nikki's Creations. Is that what it's called? Oh gosh, I don't know. Nikki's Creations. And I really will link it this time. She will. It, 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 it's a lot for her to go home and do, and she's got baby and stuff. There's a lot of stuff I And I'm make. just, <laughs> I'll, I'm not computer whatever, so. So that's that. Do you have, what have you been working on? Oh, I didn't grab the pattern out of my bag. I have been working on the Madame Chantilly, um, Stitch Along, the Celebrate Stitch Along that we are doing with Holly Jones on Instagram. Holly is still dragging her feet on a floss tube, Holly. <laughs> Just get on there. <laughs> she wants to have a cute space to do it in. I told her her space is cute. Yeah, we've so. seen her space yeah. and it's beautiful. So, <laughs> so I um, started that. I started the 4th of July Celebrate tray. I got, you know, half of the tray on the bottom done and then I was like, I'm bored. Let's... Let's move on to some of the elements. Um, I've decided I don't like the red that I chose, so I will be ripping all of this out and picking a new red. But I do love the, the fabric you chose. Yes. So to get the tray to show up, I did, I selected all my own colors for this. Um, I have one strand of like a lighter gray and one strand of a darker gray. So it shows up on there. Oh, oh well, I can't do that because I'm doing it on 14 count. But there was a couple times I wish I could. Right. And this is, I think one of them is a forbidden fiber that I got, um, and maybe just like a DMC. So it's kind of, kind of cool looking in kinda person. Cool. These are a lot of stitching, so I'm struggling with that, but I'm really more in a sewing mood lately. Yeah, I think you guys just got to go with it. So I'm doing it too. I am doing, ours are PDFs, so apparently our printer wasn't working very well because it's very pale. So I'm doing the spring one and picking all my own colors. And here is where I am. Dad's outside, it scared me. <laughs> Look how cute this is. I am picking every single color myself because I decided I was actually originally gonna do it on aqua, but that won't show up on, I wanna set this in a place in my dining room, so. So and I Robin made, is adorable. I know, isn't it cute? And then I decided I don't want a gray tray. I want a jade Ike tray. So <laughs> I is I actually had a whole bunch of flosses sitting out on a piece of jade Ike, and that's as close as I could get. So it's perfect. That's where I am. I love the banner. I do too. It's so cute. The elements are so fun. Are. There is a ton of stitching on these. So this is going to go in the daffodil. That's like my third fiction. That's I daffodils are I love it. I grew up here earlier years. We have a daffodil parade. It's kind of my childhood. Love it. It's a sign of spring. Love it. Tons of daffodils right now. They're, They're popping, popping up, up everywhere. I've got stuff sprouting in my garden. So I picked every color. Um, I couldn't do a Ray Dunn cup, although I am still gonna put words on here maybe. Um, because it wouldn't show up, of course. So I'm just kind of, each element, I'm picking my colors as I go. Just springy, bright Easter egg colors. So, Super cute. I've actually outlined these two. I think that's the kind of problem I'm having with these is they don't, I don't know. They don't pop. They don't pop. So I'm, I am back stitching around some of the things. Just, just like a little darker yeah, color. Just to make it a, one shade darker, yeah. whatever the color. If this was 744, I would do seven whatever the darker and it actually makes it stand out a little bit more but 
So this is going to move to Tuesday only now. For our tiered trade Tuesdays. Yeah, because I there's so many things I want to do. I think um, that's what I'll do too. And I'm going to work all, if I stitch all day that day, it'll be on this. It's going to, this is definitely, because it's so cute. It is really cute. And I love bunnies. And that robin is precious. Isn't it perfect? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I love her colors that she did, but on white fabric I had to, and these are our robins. These are more our colors. So, yeah. So that's Super cute. And this is the I'm one that I'm doing, the 4th of July one. This was one of the first ones you bought, I think. It is. That and Halloween. I was so excited to do it, and now I look at yours, and this one only has, like, you know, it actually has a ton of colors, if you look at her colors. This but does, it doesn't look like it in here. This isn't charted for a ton of colors. Oh, it isn't? I'm changing okay. everything, because, I mean, this should be white. Yeah. This is, like, pale and... But I think it's the red all. that I wasn't liking, and so I'm like, meh. But I'm going to rip it out and start that over. So that's that all I've been doing is ripping stuff out. Are you going to do yours on Tuesdays then? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to, that's going to be every Tuesday. Um, Tier until trade it's, Tuesday. I was thinking, oh, if I really just stitched just on this, you know, the old me, it would probably be done by, I'd say a couple weeks at mm -hmm. most. Because um, some of the bottom elements are kind of big and there's a jar that's kind of open, but there's too many things I want to do. So yeah, um, I have a bunch of wool things that I want to do and some strawberry things. So do you have any other cross stitching? Um, I just have like a tiny bit that I showed last week, basically. Oh, I have a, I have a, a finished from the past, but you go ahead and do yours. Well, go I'll... ahead. Cause I need to pull something. Oh, out. okay. So we had mentioned that I did a bunny. This is a Russian kit. I googled Russian bunny kit because I had oh, seen yeah. it on somebody's floss tube years ago. Um, and I found him and I ordered it. And it was, I would say, less than $10 with shipping, maybe. Oh, he's so cute. And I love him. But I will be honest with you. I literally, it is the worst thread ever. Towards the... After I'd stitched on him for a while, what I should have done is just took the thread and switched it out for DMC, but it would shred. And so I would say over half of him, I literally cut the thread it's because you'd work with it and all of a sudden it would just break off. Um, so, you know, fair warning if you do love him as much as I did because he's so cute. He's so cute. Um, he's just precious. And there is backstitching on him. And until you do that on the, him, he looks like a little brown blob. But um, he's beautiful. And I love getting him out every year. Um, but I literally, towards the end, I, I was like, oh, my gosh. So I would cut the thread no longer than, like, four inches and then just work with it and kind of keep my fingers crossed that it wasn't, it was that bad. I wonder if thread glass would help a little bit. I don't know. It would literally just break off. Yeah. It was awful. So heads up if you order. But that was years ago. The, so maybe yeah. they. I highly not. doubt it. Yeah. I mean, it was bad. And I, I think I kind of remember someone else doing him and had the same problem. Um, but yeah, switch out the threads if you ever want to find him. He's cute though. And I love getting him out. And he's just in a simple, oh, this probably, I'm Goodwill frame, I'm sure. So did I chalk paint it away? So. Goodwill or Home Goods? They had, mm. they had some good chunky frames like that years ago. Yeah, but it's hard to find the square ones. That's true. It was either maybe Home Goods, but I don't, I think this was a Goodwill frame. Okay. I want to say this was Goodwill, but Home Goods has them once in a while too, if you shop there. TJ Maxx, what's the other one? Marshalls. Marshalls. Ross, we don't do Ross so no. much. Our Ross is not. Um, it's bad. It's like a tornado blew through it. <laughs> if you like all the crawling time. over stuff, you're all good. If you're a I digger. <laughs> We're not diggers. I wish because <laughs> I've been to them in other places and they're not nearly as. No, but they're. I'm not a. I'm not a here. digger, even though I like going to Goodwill Dirty and carpet. stuff. <laughs> it's just you gross. have to move stuff out of your way yeah. to walk through. So. Okay, and then the other thing I've been working on is just my pattern that I'm about to release um, from my season sprinkles. Everybody, welcome. I've just been stitching on the bunny, just barely, like this morning, because I want to see what he looks like before I release that to you guys. So that'll be coming soon. 
And that's all I have for cross stitch. Yeah. I really was just focusing on sewing this time around. So I've really been into. I don't know. I think that and was, shopping online. Yeah, I think I've done some shopping. Um, so, so with with that, do we have any? Do you have any cross stitch haul? Just yes, yes. I have a pattern, and then I have some fabric. So we'll do the cross stitch haul, and then we'll move on to her strawberry stuff. If you guys want to stick around yeah. for that, and then we'll move on to sewing. Yes, I do have a few fun things that I've collected over the years. And there's, I mean, you're not going to walk into my house and think, oh my gosh, that chick loves strawberries. You're going to think, oh my gosh, that chick loves birds yeah. <laughs> and lanterns because I have a lot of those too. But I do have strawberry stuff that yeah. I've collected. I mean, Heather's over 29. Oh, so. I forgot those vintage pillowcases that I have too. Yeah, we yeah. have tons. Yeah. We have, we have a lot. And it's not just kind of here and there. It's I I, When I see it, I always... Fabric. We, in fact, we found it. Um, I bought Heather some too. Well, that'll be part of our haul. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well. I'll show you our cross, my cross stitch haul real quick. I have to find mine. Um, so, Crochita a go, Cro Crochita a go go. Um, <laughs> she's under a different name on Instagram. Rika Mita Marula, I think, is her name. Oh, that's awesome. She released the most beautiful spring pattern called Spring in the City. I ordered it off of her in or off of her Etsy shop because it's a PDF. It's so But there cute. is a picture of it. Oops, sorry. Holly's texting me. Well that's good timing. Look at it. All the little city elements. Oh, and buddies, and you can just I can see all kinds of And the gazebo. Of... Just stitched together would be beautiful, but apart too is probably what we'll end up doing, what I'll end up doing anyways, the different elements. Look at that, the bunny and the bees, and there's cats. That's really what got me, the cats on the picket fence. So, you know, it's a giant pattern, but I'm really excited. I, um, so that's my started watching pattern haul. Oh yes, that's it? Well, I have this fabric. Oh, okay, so um, a friend was, oh, stop everything. I wanna thank Brenda and Karen, she they sent us. Oh yeah, they sent us wonderful gifts. And yeah, they did. I am so sorry. I meant to say that, you know, but the Lori Holt thing set me off. Yeah. And thank you so much. They sent us a wonderful gift. So thank um, you. I'm not gonna show them or anything, but I happy mail. So happy. So and wonderful. We have met so many wonderful people. Did Lisa send you something too? No, she sent the uh, thing for my bag the last. Oh time. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, thank you, Brenda, and thank you, Karen. Um, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I never know what to say. No. <laughs> it, it just makes me feel so, I don't know, so blessed. I will say that. But anyway, Karen was telling me about another floss tuber, uh, Blue Ribbon Designs. And I'm not sure. I haven't been able what to her watch all. Tube name is. Yeah, it might be BRD or something oh, like that. I think so. Is that her Instagram too? Maybe. I got a pat. That's the pattern that I chose for Christmas was a blue ribbon design one. Right. And now I want them but all man, because yeah, she's got some oh. beautiful stuff. So I got on her. I've only been able to watch like a few minutes so far of one of hers. I think she might have three or four videos. I'm not sure. So um, anyway, I ordered this because. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. So cute. Under my wing. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. And it's by Blue Ribbon Designs. I, there's, I have a list now, a huge list of stuff. So I ordered that from her. And because of her, I also ordered a fat quarter bundle. <laughs> because I'll show you the next thing. Um, sorry, I meant to have this stuff printed out, but I don't know where my life is going. I'm like burning there. up. It is so hot in here. Open the window. <laughs> I feel ill. <laughs> Drama or what, people? It's like having a teenager again. And the other thing I ordered, and darn it, I wanted to print that out, is a joyful, what does that say? Joyful journal jacket. Oh, say that man. three times in a row. And that is going to be so fun to make. And it's using a composition book. But how cute is that? And because of this, I had to order that fabric because 
seriously. <laughs> I'm going to make the journal jacket. But this is so my granddaughter. This is so Evelyn. Yeah. It's got little birds. And so then I'm going to make her a quilt with the, the leftovers. Because you know I'm only going to use a corner of each one. So. Yeah. Um, and the fabric is poppy cotton. And I'm really sorry. I forget the... Well, when you have that, yet, yeah, so when she gets that, we'll it. talk more um, about that. Hopefully it comes soon. So it's got little bluebirds on it. Oh, so cute. Oh, it so does, did it not say on there what the fabric was? Probably. I don't know. So we'll, we'll show, we'll show you, you next time in. when she gets it. And because I've wanted this pattern for oh, this, this chart this. forever, and Lori's friend made her the cutest chicken bag. Is it open? Can I get No, that she's going to open it up. Her friend made her, and I'm sorry if I mess. I think her friend Annette made her the cutest project bags in the world. I mean, she put so much thought and extra into them. Um, so I will be not even close to that, but I will be making a chicken bag because I had to order this. Sorry. I really didn't even want to open this because sorry, well I'm opening it. I've been wanting it for a long time, and to be honest, it was quite expensive. Um, it is, oh, sorry, is that the, too. no, that's not the pattern. No. It is French, it's French, and I'm not even going to la something Parisian, <laughs> Parisian. It's Veronique and John Jay. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It says right here. Oh, she is? Okay. Yeah. Well, it didn't say that on the website. Sorry. I thought it was, and then I didn't see it. So, check out... The same person that does the Magic of Christmas book that we have and all her other books that we have too. Um, they actually had it in stock. I ordered it from, it's not the, it's frenchneedle.com. And so they, they ship from stateside. And it's only because I've ordered from France before, but, and you get them, but the mail is, you know, they're struggling right now. So, but check out the chicken sewing. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. so cute. And that apron. And I mean, I, I we've wanted this for a long time and they had it in stock, so I did it. Um, honestly, the pattern's $39, but you get, well, yeah, but you get 50 charts. So it's less, than, it's like 75 cents a chart if you figure that afterwards. But there's so many darn cute things. I mean, I want the, to do this little fat chicken for a tear tray. Or you could do this around a spool. I mean, there's so many cute charts. So if you kind of divide, it's I think it's like 72 cents or something, I figured. I don't know. I can't remember anything. But no, that's not bad. So if you look at it like that with 50 charts, $39, and, you know, isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I don't normally pay that unless it's the French. Um, well, think about it. Like, um some of the little charts like for example are, like priscilla and chelsea's like their little cups they're like five bucks yeah and these aren't nearly that big but oh they're not okay no, but if you, even if you cut that in half this is still right still a deal some sense of yeah there's you're showing some pattern oh sorry oh, god i'm terrible about that but anyway so super cute um we've been wanting it for since i since we first saw it come what out do we see um that likes Jennifer loves the French pattern. Yes, Jennifer at Stitching yeah. with the Waves. But then, um, gosh, what's her name? She has her own. Misty Purcell. Misty oh, did Purcell she love loves. Okay. She did um, a well, Magic of Christmas needs... stitch along. Yeah, she needs to buy the chickens. A few years ago before we were doing Floss Tube, and I did some of the, when I did the little tiny versions out of that book, it was because she was doing a little stitch along. Well, and this She is... just bought the cats. Look at this. Oh, really? Yes. I love those too. I think, I think she they bought the were cats. out of stock. I mean, if you order... I, I keep looking at them, and I'm like, I can't. I, I no, need to I mean, wait until I get some stuff well, stitched. Let's get, yeah, oh let's my gosh, get I have her books, going. and her books are... I was actually looking through them this morning. The, love it. This, In fact, I this would be the first time. thing I do, I have the her, chicken sewing. Yeah. I mean, oh, definitely. I have her fairy tale. So she has a book that's fairy tales and folk tales, I think. Oh, yeah, you should bring that next time. Um, I sure. will, because my daughter is obsessed with... Um, some Richard Scary, a Richard Scary storybook we have right now has the city mouse and the country mouse and Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Mouse, and she has a cross stitch pattern with that, and it's so cute. We love it. It's, I don't know, so cute. So cute. They're just precious. If you notice, I, I finally wait. got my baskets hung up, 
it may fall because um, it said, you know, we used a stud finder. And so if it comes crashing down, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I won't be editing it out because that's a total pain. <laughs> so it, the stud finder said yes, and I hung the basket. And ugh, it's not. I got to fix that. But just to let you know, heads up, if that comes crashing down, that's why. Yes. Oh, What's and I have one else? more. One more. I did get a piece of the water lily. Swigart. No. Witch Elt. Mm -hmm. Witch Elt. Stiff. Stiff Witch Elt. But I it's think 40 it, count. Try I to think it, I'm, it. This is what I'm going to do, the bear, the Sowberry. Sowberry Sweet pattern that I just designed on, I think. One over one, obviously, because it's 40 count. Or no, 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 no. One over two. Oh, and I didn't say, I'm doing these, the tear tray on 40 count. This is one over two. Can you imagine if this was smaller? It would be huge. So smaller count, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like 32 count. I'm doing mine on 32 and it's going to be huge, but I'm only doing that because I wanted it on that gingham fabric and I don't think she can get that in bigger. Not that I've ever seen. Bigger count. So I'm doing my, I'm going to do my strawberries on a d little bit different green because she was only able to get one piece of that. So. Yeah. I got, I ordered this from Allison Stitches um, on Etsy. It was a pretty good deal and it's a pretty big piece. I mean, you can share it with me for sure, but I don't think there's going to be enough. The, yeah. For yeah. the bigger pieces like that. And she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to stitch on which <laughs> I know. I don't. Not for a big pattern. No, for a little one. I know. I'm going to play around with it and see. I, maybe, maybe I'll do one of those chickens on here first. There you go. To play around with it. Um, we don't love it. I mean, look at like stands up <laughs> basically on its own. <laughs> it's, I'd maybe try rinsing some of yeah. the sizing out of a corner and see if you can get it to. Um, and I knew that's what I would And a lot of people want, but if you put it in a frame, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. We did talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so if you, I mean, like I've a done. frame or something. Um, the gingerbread, I started the gingerbread village yeah. on. Um, and I did one of my, I think it was the. Then you never notice. The pumpkin farm pattern that I did in my Etsy shop. I think I did that on like a. It's not my favorite one. in hand, so the maybe we'll. Mocha or something like that. Flax. Stiff. And once I was working with it for a while, I got used to it. But, like, I struggled on that Ada even because it was kind of stiff. I just really like the soft linen. I do, too. But I love, love, love this color. Yeah. And so but at I least have we have it so rods. we can try and replicate it. And you have another one? Not, not my good one. No, but you well, have Yes, more. I do. Oh. I have some scroll rods oh, you okay. can put it on. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. And it'll be good practice for stitching on scroll rods. So I got this so. super fast because she's in Seattle. So she's only a couple hours oh, away. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's got all kinds of different stuff. She's just like beading and different embroidery. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to keep an eye on her because this was a good price because um, I'm cheap. doesn't look like it because I bought a lot of stuff. So. <laughs> Did I? Why well, about that outrageously expensive? I'm just like struggling right now to, to We're going to be all over the place because I totally forgot to say that I was completely inspired to reorganize all my patterns too so we'll get to that in a minute yeah we'll finish our haul but i'm going to pause the video here because we're going to run out of time on this little section but i think are we done with our cross stitch stuff talking about our cross stitch stuff yeah i can't i don't know it's buried yeah yeah from here on out it's going to be mostly just talking about our strawberry stuff and sewing and then like fabric haul stuff so so join us for the strawberry social if you're if you're stitch now. if you want to cross stitch yeah um, and let us know if you know of any cute strawberry, I don't know, I'm doing yours. Yeah, and, and I, I was showed... looking through the Veronique books this oh, morning yeah? for some, and I don't think I found, I found some beautiful roses So if you know of any really stuff. cute strawberry, um, charts, let us know so we can check Um, what's out. there, there's a cute cow one right now that has strawberries around it. Cherry Hill. Oh, really? It's super cute. Okay, it's so we'll check cute one. Out. But let us know. So she's going to stop this before it stops us. And we'll be right back. Please continue with us if yes. you are interested in what we're talking about. We're back. We're back. We are going to continue but, yeah, with our continue haul. Yeah, continue on with haul. You want to go first? No, you can go ahead. Okay. I ordered from Stitches and Giggles. Yeah. <laughs> Stitches and Giggles for you. I ordered on their Etsy shop because I needed to get... The strawberry applique um, from Lori Holt, and she had them available. 
This is the fruit salad. Um, what are they called? I forget what they're called. Oh, so simple shapes. It has a strawberry in there for obvious reasons <laughs> for our strawberry social. Um, the table's so pretty right now. There's all kinds of pinks and reds and yellows. Stare at and... It. So of course, I needed free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> And I think there's like over $59 or whatever for free shipping. So I got a bunch of fabric too. So I got um, a piece of this. It's Moda. Oh, this is April Rosenthal. Yes. The Homestead. Super, super cute. Oh, I have so to order pretty. some of that. It's It would be perfect in here. So pretty. I'm thinking curtains. And I also got a little mini charm pack of that too. It's got like little like um watering cans and checks and flat oh and strawberries really oh wait never mind that's a radish no oh, there might be a strawberry in there too cute flowers super cute i think this will be cute project bag or whatever something little a little and scrappy mugger. well it's perfect springy colors springy summer and she also had notting hill available I can show you the back with all those. So the yellow pretty. is really pretty. The yellow is pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'm sharing them yes. with my mother. And then I got um, Gingham Gardens by my mind's eye. She has, you. that's what you got this. Mm -hmm. And she's going to do the quilt out of. This is just a mix of all of them. The checks are beautiful. There's a lot of good basics in this one. There really is. I and I, I had bought the aqua floral and then a little bit darker teal to do a coriander quilt. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Gingham. It's gingham. some sort of like yeah, gingham some kind check. of gingham star or something like that. And then I need oh, I look to at that do a project bag for my 4th of July tiered tray. And I don't have any patriotic. Um, I need all of that. Dang it. Fabric right now. That is I don't have a patriotic um, project bag is what I was thinking of. And I was going to do it with my Bonnie and Camille stuff, but I really just, I love that so much <laughs> that well, I didn't want to use I it for that. I love this so much. So. Yeah, this is super cute. This is the Land of Liberty, also by my mind's eye. Very cute check. I think we Pinwheels. Did. Honestly, it's a kind of a lot like the, some of the stuff is a lot like the Walmart fabric we got, like the pinwheels and stuff. Very much so. Yeah. Um, but but we bought that a couple years yes. ago and that would yeah this will be a little bit easier yeah find for it's sure. a little less like no it is pretty th it's, the colors are pretty spot yeah. on um but florals and stuff added in there too that's and great. obviously this is riley blake so it's a little bit higher quality yes fabric, yeah but... so that'll be cute for oh i need just a quick little i have an idea for a project bag for this um a freebie pattern now I get some of that too, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and then I don't know what else I'll do with that. Probably some so cute. I don't think I have a... Something for 4th of July. Yeah, I don't think I have a 4th of July one. That's it for my haul. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot for So, um, I bought Heather and I these. I have a small... A hoblob. A hoblob. Salt hoblob. and pepper shaker problem? Yeah. No, not problem. Oh. <laughs> I have a small, and I'm talking small, a couple, I have like a couple turkeys and, all right, I have a drawer full. Yeah. But, but they're perfect for tiered trays. Mm -hmm. They're, they're like the perfect, um, size. So, and these, these are vintagey looking to me. So this is Hobby Lobby this year. They, I just got them. I don't know. I probably got them a month ago, maybe. Yeah. But I got Heather and I each one of this. This is before we decided to do the strawberry thing, too. It's just because when I see strawberries, I love them. So. I take towards them. It reminds me of, like, ceramics. Right. Back from, yeah. like, the 70s yeah. and 80s. So it's super cute. And I think the only other thing I have um, that I bought. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> So if you remember last, um, last floss tube, last floss tube, I was shocked that I could not find the strawberry because I knew I'd ordered it. The buttermilk. I, in fact, I thought I lost my mind because we looked everywhere and I'm not saying I'm like the perfect house cleaner, but I'm pretty organized and my house is small and we looked everywhere. I mean, we looked everywhere. I, I literally called, came over and we called on our hands garbage, and knees. like her outside garbage can. 
dumped it out and dug through. <laughs> because I thought I had to have thrown it away. And then I got to thinking, well, maybe I didn't order it. Maybe I only thought I ordered it. So she came over and, I mean, we looked everywhere. And then I looked on my receipt and it's like, okay, yes, I did order it. Where did this thing go? And so, and then I got to thinking, well, but I thought I ordered something else too. Which I'll show you in a well, I'll show you. Because I thought I had ordered this too and I was like okay so there's no way this would fall off something and we would lose and it. we would lose it I mean I looked even chiclet goes back in my pantry it goes under the stairs and so I have crock pots back there <laughs> we even looked inside there in case maybe she like you know took it off the table or whatever found some floss <laughs> found two red flosses that she loves to carry around um but so here is the other strawberry that I was looking for what had happened was when they did, because when it came in, I checked the packing. There was checking, whatever. They check Each off one, on the paper. And there was one not um, not available. Not available. So I was like, okay. And I just threw them in a basket so I could show it um, here. And so that's why I was like, well, there's no place that could have been, even though we looked everywhere. What had happened is when they did printed out their packing sheet, because mm -hmm. she found it in the garbage. Um, they didn't scroll down and print another yeah, section. Yeah, so there was the two, things two things missing. Didn't get so, checked off the list. Yeah. The moral of the story, quit ordering stuff or <laughs> and you do. And if you check. order too much stuff, really check when you get here. Yeah, because cause I just looked, check, 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 whatever, threw it in a basket. I was trying to finish the potting shed. And so I wasn't spending any time. It's like, if I start looking at that, I'm going to just sit there and want to, you know, look at everything. So I just threw it in a basket and thought, well, everything's checked. And the one thing they didn't have. So, you know, bummer, whatever. I was I was like so sitting anyway, at home and I'd be like, okay, did you did you check the candy basket? Like I, you don't even know. Did you I check under your bathroom sink? <laughs> All the places that she likes to. She I has told her own my little yeah. Drawers. She has little you know anything that she could reach and below. I even checked every drawer in the kitchen because she might have you know hidden. We even um, asked her. Yeah. I, it drove me crazy. So it was all my fault. Um, I felt ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but they mailed them out because it had just cut off. And you could see the top of one of the pictures because they printed out. And no one. checkbox by yeah, it. Yeah. So anyway, so here was the other little strawberry. Um, it's just a little, you know, like little hanger that you put on a touch door or whatever. And then there's that one too. And there's the other one. It's... And I'm thinking, okay, now I know something's either, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Look at that tin that they have. Yeah, it's super cute. Everything's cute. Yeah. So this kind of start. this is what, these kind of started our whole, in her strawberry mat that she was making and the whole strawberry, strawberry social everything. thing. So I have, um, because I collect, used to collect vintage sheets, I have strawberry pillowcases. I could never oh find the full gosh. sheets, but. So, cases on like our guest pillows. Here's another thing I found. And this was just, I went, I had to go get another can of Annie Sloan. Chalk so, paint. Chalk paint. And they only sell it at an antique store, which really is terrible when I have to go in there. Mm. I hadn't been in there in so long. It was wonderful. This was sitting right on top the pile of linens I walked past. I never find strawberry stuff like this. So, no. it was like fate. And we, Dug and dug and dug. Look how cute this is. So she kind of based her colors on her cross stitch off this vintage mm -hmm. um, strawberry. So, which is kind of why I want to do it on a green. This is, um, it's in pretty good condition. There's a couple holes in it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of this yet. Um, Something for me. Yeah, we'll see. So <laughs> there's that. And I think that's it for haul, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a haul. Oh, no, this is haul. No, no, no. I've had that for years. That'll be in my strawberry plan. So I was at um, one of my favorite quilt shops last. That was another thing I hadn't been in forever. I just stood there, like, soaking it all in. It was wonderful. So I found this book. And I, I have a rule when I buy books. I have to want to do, I may never do them, but I have to want to do three projects out of a book. I used to work in a quilt shop. Had I not made that rule for myself, and I do stick to that, absolutely, I would have a thousand books right now. Yeah. Because I worked there for years. So I made the rule. I have to want to do three 
like I said, I, I may not, but anyway, <laughs> but I have to. to want to. <laughs> so they had um, the cutest. They Same have with a, magazines. Yep, I'm like that with magazines mm -hmm. too, unless it's decorator. Cause, yeah, but still, if you flip yeah. through there and there's not three things that you like in there. Yeah, I, I, I've been pretty good about that. So they have this made up, and I'm not going to show you the pattern like I've been doing because... On I'm accident. Here. She's On accident. <laughs> Uh, like total accident so they had this can you see it yeah. this quilt made up and their little gingerbread anybody that knows me knows my whole kitchen is gingerbread um and they had it made up in the shop and oh my gosh it was so cute in a yellow wire bowl which is my goal to find one day in my lifetime that's not a million dollars so I love it. It's, I will change the colors because my kitchen's a lot more, I don't know, what would you say? Like red ticking. Yeah, more brighter at Christmas time, Yeah, um, which is hilarious because it's not at all during <laughs> during the regular time. But my gingerbread, uh, that's my, my kids would, I don't know. They've, it's always been gingerbread. So yeah. anyway, so that's that was the one that made me open the book. But there's so many cute things in here. I mean, even this one, I mean, brighter colors, it's going to be so cute. I love this one. Um, that one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Check this out. It's a table runner. It's beautiful. There's so many cute things in here, but it's Christmas in the country. I think it came out last year. I think. Oh, really? Like, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think it said 2020. You're going to think I'm nuts, but now I'm cold. <laughs> do you see what I do with and she thinks I have hot flashes. Well, I got, no, I got hot because I had too much caffeine. And <laughs> put your jacket back I on. Put my so, on. Yeah, this came out in 2020, and it's a Martin Gale book, but it's super cute. So that was my other fun find. Um, but I think that's it for that. Now you can do the print. That's a freebie. Yeah, I kind of showed it when I. Yeah. So this is. So now we'll move into our kind of our. Did plans. I find this on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, no, no, um, Pinterest? I sent this one, right? Yeah, you did. I was looking for some freebies on Pinterest. So this is going to be, um, this is for a strawberry pin cushion. Um, because we wanted to find down some Grapevine Lady from yeah. 2014. So we'll link that below for you so you could, guys can go check that out. We have some And really it makes cute, super cute little strawberries. Really cute ideas for that. Yeah. So that was the freebie. Um, That's the freebie. And then I also found a cute freebie embroidery pattern. You'll have to link it. It's just strawberries with little flowers. Yeah, who was that by, though? I'm not sure. That was one I was familiar with, too. I'll link that below, and I'll show okay. that to you next week. And I have a really cute idea for that. I don't know. So I... Um, but I'll link that. And let are you we going to do kind of our, their plans for our strawberry thing. I don't really have a lot. I mean, the wool things I want to do, and if you guys can think of some cute cross stitches. Um, Let just, us know. Yeah, just to set out on, on the tear tray or whatever. But I do have a quilt that I've wanted to do. I've been collecting for it, and I am sorry. I don't know if any of this fabric is going to be available, but it's all fig tree. Um, I have wanted to do a swoon for years. I have all of the swoon patterns. There's big, medium, little, wall hanging. So I didn't know you had all of them. I do have all of them. I love them. I love quilts that are like this. And so because I'm, we're doing the strawberry social, and I'm really sorry because I don't. I think they're oh they're releasing some of these fabrics again. They're so beautiful. They're fig tree, and they're strawberries, and. I collected um, for a long time, and oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. Um, short, right after Lori Holt, Fig Tree is mm. our kind of our our favorites because they're well, the same. Well, Sam Kitty Morning, but well, she's... yeah, but she's Holly Holderman. Oh, I wish. I've even said on her Instagram before. Please, please, Can please, you please make, make more again? fabric? <laughs> because they all have. And been... then she just like smiles. I'm like, does that mean you're going to? What does that mean? Yeah. Yes. But anyway, so this is going to be my swoon. Because, and I've collected this for years. This is not something um, that I just went and picked up. And you might be able to find some of them. Get, did you get some of that at Sisters? 
I got I most like, of it at Sisters. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that was so, familiar to me. Anyway, this is, and I actually have two chunks of this, so. So she can give me one. Mm -hmm. Well, they're half yards, and it only takes quarter yards. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, because no. No, I'm kidding. I have. I forgot Maybe. to bring my fabric. I so have there's some, that. too. So this is going to be one of my strawberry plans. I don't know. It'll take a while, because I've never made one, so. And I'm doing the 16. I thought I was originally going to do the big one, but I like the little one. Yes, so. I prefer the little one, too. And because I have, I had two of this because I... You know, I don't. I think I bought this probably. But does that mean that the four. little one is still a sixteen-inch square? No, there's sixteen yes. of them on there. There's sixteen, 16 of them on there. Sixteen, sixteen-inch blocks. Holy moly! It's a large quilt, seventy-four by seventy-four. Wow. It doesn't get any. Does it have like a? Do they have a mini one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that is ten, twenty, thirty, seventy-four. That's not that big. No, but I just like envision yeah. a 16 inch square. So those will be fun. Big. But I bought two chunks of the strawberry because mm, strawberry. And so that'll be in more of the blocks. Mm -hmm. you know. But anyway, so there's. My... And it'll make it more of like a lower volume. Yeah. Well, and I kind of tried to stay with, you know, the reds that are have a lot of movement in them. The ginghams. And have. There's two of the polka dots, too. Yeah. So there's that. I that have is one of my plans. What are you doing, strawberry? Like? Some lake house dry goods. Um, I think farm stand that's really old that has strawberries on it. Oh, I have that too. So I need to kind of think what I want to do with that. With also, the white background and that I was working on. Yeah, we haven't gotten to that. Point oh, okay. Yet. I didn't know. So I'm going to show you some of the strawberries. I do have real some quick. strawberry plans, but yeah, what are those? I don't want to say them out loud yet. Okay. I want to do some pin, one of these pin cushions for sure. So I want to show you a couple oh, of the things have, I've made. Hold on, hold on. What? I have two more of these to make. Oh yeah, and I totally am gonna make that because it's the cutest thing ever. Although I don't think I'm gonna do mine scrappy. No, I'll just. I'm gonna do some, some non scrappy products. with this this guy too. Um, but I have two more of these pin cushions to make, and I think I'm gonna give away one of them if you're interested um, on my Instagram. So, do I get to enter? Well, you just make one for your mom. Yeah, I have two of them already, <laughs> so I can give you one. So follow me on Instagram at White House Tree. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I know I keep saying that, but you if get you want a cute right. little pin cushion. So I think I've mentioned my pillow. I think we did on the last time. Yes. It's like one of my, next to my strawberry cross stitch that I showed a couple times ago, the mm. Margeline Baston. With the bird and the watering can, right? This is one of my favorite things I've ever made. And it was simple and took, I don't know, a couple hours, basically. This came out of an old gooseberry patch book, which I'll show you in a second. But it sits in my sewing room. Um, I love yellow, red, and yellow, and pink together. But yeah, this is just a, I think I found this at like a gift shop. Um, you know how you get the hand towels or whatever. Um, this is old Laura Ashley fabric. I wish more people would Sorry. make this kind of plaid or check. Love it. Like the window pane more so. Um, because we're kind of low volume people. But yeah, so this is one of my favorite things I've ever made. And Heather keeps sitting on it in my chair. Well, don't put it in the chair that well, I sit in. Well, but it looks cute and I don't sit there. So just well, sit on the table. Yeah, she does. And she, so sits my on, she sits on my favorite pillow. <laughs> but it came out of um, this book right here. Another one of my collections. Gosh, I'm going to sound like a hoarder. I love Gooseberry <laughs> Patch. I love them. I have a lot of their cookbooks. I have, I think, all Everything's of their... Everything's just done so well, and it's so cute it's, and, and it's stuff warm that's, to read through. Yeah. I get them out every Christmas. Mm -hmm. I have all of their Christmas books. They... They have crafts and whatever. And I think you can still get them on thrift books or maybe even Amazon. Well, they, they still make new recipe books. Oh, yeah. I have their new Constantly. their new farmhouse one, which is amazing. So not that I cook very much, but I love to look through them. <laughs> but and even those have cute. like crafts in them, I think, don't they? No. Well, they have craft ideas or yeah. hey, do this or that or put that in a jar. And there's and like little cute. like um, testimonies, like, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool. So anyway, these have, you know... I, they're not necessarily current colors or whatever, but they always have fun stuff to make that doesn't take 
you know, years or whatever. And you don't have to do, like, no. wool. Use fabric. Yeah. Just stabilize it. Or flannel. It. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. How cute that is. So these are fun books. Um, I've had this one for years and years. You probably, but I'm sure you can probably still find it. So that is one of my favorite um, things I've ever made. And let's see what else. I found a girl, some stuff at a garage sale. I think this was made by Moda or something a few years ago. Quite a few years ago. They found this thing at a garage sale. I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Terrible being blind. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this sits in here with that other pillow. This was a garage sale find. Some crazy person gave it up. The whole pillow? No, not the... I threw the inners away. Oh, no, but it was a pillow and you bought it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that was a... It's a reproduction, I think, that some... Uh, a fabric company. Maybe. Fabric company. But, but this I found at the Salvation Army. And this just hangs on the door in here. My daughter likes to. Stick she like stuff it's in there. perfect. It's perfect size for her to carry around, and it just hangs on the door in here. I think I was with you when you found that. Mm, Salvation Army in Tacoma. Yeah, they have fun stuff. Yeah, and so, and Heather, she got me. Where'd you find this at a thrift store? The grossest thrift store ever in Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a warehouse that. And so this is going to go open. on my tiered tray in my kitchen with a my... dig for that. It's super cute. Oh, I though. thought of something else. You know that floral arrangement from Thompson's? No. Does that have strawberries it's, on it? It has. Um, it's in like a hobnail white that you gave me. Where is that at? It's in, my, it's in storage. Like oh, okay. In a storage thing. So see, we have strawberries. And, and those then... yellow tins that have birdies and strawberries on them. Oh, yeah. You gotta get that out. Yeah. My favorite collection. I know exactly where it is too, which is shopping um, because it's in my garage. I don't have a lot of it, and I started it many years ago. I couldn't find it anywhere. No, it's I lived very, in Virginia for very, a while. And they had hard. awesome thrift stores. It's very hard to find. find it. It's called Strawberry Fair. It's a Johnson Brothers, I believe. Yeah. Um, I have. I don't know. I have some bigger plates. I have some platters. Um, small ones. I have one little berry bowl. I find it at antique stores, but not very often. It's really hard to find in this area of the country. I very rarely find it, but when I do, I pick it up. I mean, if it isn't, you know, ridiculous, right. but so this is what I've collected over the years. Um, slowly. And like you I use said. that every day. I do. I use this. I put this, um, there's three of them that rotate out. I put my tea bags on here, so. My other one's pretty stained up, which you just take baking soda and I'll take that right off. So oh, anyway, I didn't know that. I got to yeah. do that to my... Yeah, some of my mugs were pretty bad and I made a baking soda paste and it took the, took the tea stains off of it. But So this is my favorite, favorite collectible. Like I said, I only do get a piece occasionally, but it's fun to look for when you're out um, kind of scavenging through antique stores. So is there anything... I guess we've been sewing, so we need to show what we've been sewing. Um, I've only have one little thing that I worked on. I, besides the strawberry bag, because I did that. I won't show you too much of this because it's like sorted. I am so close to finishing my best friend's <laughs> quilt along. I sat down last weekend and I just like sewed and sewed and sewed. I had to do all of the courthouse steps, which take quite a long time because there's like a lot of pieces to them. Um, and I finally got like the flow towards the end and then I went and laid it all out the way I wanted it on the floor and I had forgotten to do one courthouse step, which I still haven't gone back in. Which made me laugh yet. hysterically. Because there is like, I texted her, I'm like, these are a lot, a <laughs> lot of these. Yeah, I had hers, everything pre-cut already. Hers so that's is going to be goodness. beautiful. It's, yeah. it's my favorite because it's blue and yellow. Yeah. And that's kind of the color schemes in here. I, I think, think I have two of them here. sewn together, two strips like sewn together already. And then I just have them like pinned and little, you know, bind, binding clips or whatever these are called, magic clips together the way I need them sewn. Aren't those awesome? They are. I love them. Because what I just did is I put them together and then I put a binding clip on the line that I'm sewing. So I know when I have it all sorted, okay, that's, that's the row I'm sewing. That's we'll brilliant. You don't do that? No. 
I, I will now. <laughs> well, because I'm, I was like, I'm so tired. It was like late at night. Yeah, that's and how I, can't I leave ended anything up with out. mine being. Yeah, all... I can't leave it out because, you know, Abby gets up in the morning and she's going to go straight to the quilt stuff. So I'm like, how she am I going to sort this in a way? Yeah, she does. How am when... I going to sort this in a way that I know that I don't have to redo all of this? So that's what I did. I love I should have it. I'm going to try and get that done this weekend. I just need to sit down and do it. It shouldn't take I have too to make bow long. ties for my niece's uh, boys. They're getting their oh, Easter pictures taken. So that's fun. She has the cutest little boys you've ever seen in your she life. Does. And they're so, so big. I know. They're like four and nine. He's but anyway, funny. she dresses them so, I mean, to the hilt. Yeah. And so she wants little bow ties. So that's yeah. what I'll be doing. Be pick up. Um, I've been, I worked on this and I'm almost done. Actually, all I need to do, because I decided I'm going to put little beads on here. That is this right here. So in love by Quilt Doodle yeah. Designs. And I have the frame for this and everything, um, but I worked on that. This is the first time I've ever done the stem stitch and I'm, I love it. It's fun. I didn't think I'd be able to be very good at it to get it's, it to do. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good and it's thicker. So I just put these and I'm gonna put little beads, little white beads for, which is basically the pins I have. So on there and I'll just quilt it a little bit. But I was, does this? I have these charms and so I haven't decided yet but I think it looks good I think it looks good do you guys think it looks out of scale but scissors come in all sizes yeah. so I might well, depending it's smaller than your tomato but then if you have like a but giant one it's gonna look weird too. right so yeah so I don't know once this is, uh, I don't think I'm going to quilt it very much because I am putting it on a frame. So once um, I get it beaded, I'm just going to put it in, see, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't like it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I worked on that. Got it all stitched. In what do they have on here? Nothing. Oh! Does it does need something. I know. That's what I thought. So we'll see. You guys let us know. Does that look dumb? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it does i don't know it doesn't but then like you think but about it it's like, like well, is it really tiny scissors but then it's like a third of the sewing machine and my that's about how long my right so maybe are. it's the tomato that's ridiculous <laughs> but i love the tomato so and that's that pam kitty morning too yeah and the rest is pretty much Lori whole fabric okay. but so this will be done next time it should have been done i couldn't find my white beads um well, you got rid of them i might have or there with Haley here? stuff. No. I bet you I didn't look there. that long. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't something that I was going to whip up this morning. Um, anyway, so that's, I did work on that. And that's going to be cute because it's so bare over there. I did, um, I did quilt some of the thing. I, let me reach that. This is going to go over there too. So for everybody that thinks I don't have stuff on my walls. I have slowly been um, working on this hand quilting it. I had a thimble issue. Mainly I couldn't find it. <laughs> now that like you say your house is so organized and now it's think? like I couldn't I, find this. I that was in a, a, a car basket that's why. But I made this quite a few months ago using some vintage um, linens. linens and Lori Holt granny chic. Yeah which I love so much. I would have my whole bedroom done in that. Had I not, you know, waited to... Well, I didn't know. I've just come come back to... We've been renovating our house forever, so I'm just now starting to decorate it and decide what I want. But I'm, so I've been slowly hand quilting this. Um, but yeah, so that's going to go right there where the big square is behind Heather's head. Um, my goal is to sit this next to my chair now and actually do... Before I start cross-stitching, I'm going to hand quilt one little one section. little thing every day because I need to get this up. It's really pretty and That's I love so it. So, yeah. So I, I did have been working on that a little bit and I've been crocheting actually. Oh, yeah. I made chick look a few things because... Make me look like a bum. No, <laughs> I didn't feel like I did anything. And so anyway... I did. I did do a few things. Um, I have a, this is my go-to scarf pattern. 
if anybody wants to know, I'll let you know. Um, I don't remember the name of it. It was probably on Pinterest or something. But Chicklet wanted some. There's a sticker on it. <laughs> not from my house, no. from Heather's. Um, <laughs> this is my go-to. It, you can make it as long or as wide as you want. But it's super soft. This yarn was weird. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the one of the dye lots um, that they had. So I, I thought it was all gonna look like this because that's what it looked like from the outside. So I don't know if it was a defective thing, but it turned out cool and she thinks it's cool. I mean, it's striped and it didn't say it was self-striping and, and I know it isn't because I'll show you the, the next thing I made. So I made her that one and then she wanted a red one. So she's very demanding, my daughter. She had two scarves, red one. So then I made her a little red one, and this one's a little bit longer. Um, it fits her perfectly. And this yarn is this is from the Yarn Bee Hobby Lobby yarn, um, the non-peel kind. It's really soft and wonderful, but the dye lot was weird. This is not. This is a Lion Brand basic. And it's called Strawberry Twist, which I had no, we, that was not planned. No. Um, but so, yeah, it's so super cute. So now she has two little scarves. And then, because I had leftovers, and this is how I know the dye lot, the dye -lot, lot was one. funky. So I used up the leftover yarn because I had bought two skeins thinking I would make some, you know, something with the extra. So this is the dye lot for the one. But then I kind of, well, I need to make it a little bit bigger. This is the dye lot only this way from here up is the other one. And what oh, I, this dark wasn't a part of the second one even? No. Weird. That was all from the first two, because I check the dye lots when I get them. So I got matching dye lots, um, which they were out of. So I'm like, whatever now, because look at this. It's all stripey, but it turned out really cool. Yeah, it did. So this is her dolly blankie. I wanted to try this. Um, this is called, I found it on Pinterest, the little bobble edging, I think is what you what it's called. The only difference is I added one extra row of single crochet. But look how cool that turns out. It's like Very icing. Cool. I think that's what she said. It looks like piped icing. Super easy. It's single crochet and double crochet. So Very cute. Um, if you want to know that, just it's on Pinterest, little bobble edging, and this is just a granny square. Plain and simple. But it's her car blankie now. It's perfect size for her legs. But car. isn't that weird? And it does not say self-striping at all because I thought, well, maybe I got a weird sock yarn that you're supposed to make stripes, but it was just weird. Well, yeah, but it took a long time to get there. Yeah. I don't know. It was odd. Yeah. But anyway, I... I wanted she to. She loves them. She loves them. And I love this edging. So I'm going to use that again. Like I said, little bobble edging. Granny square. I'd been wanting to crochet. I normally always, until I started floss tube, I always have a crochet project going. Always. I don't. Always, always. She doesn't <laughs> like it. It hurts my um, finger. <laughs> it's kind of my zen thing that I can do. Even if I have a headache or whatever and I can't cross stitch, I can always crochet. I don't even really have to pay attention. It just does not click to me. So anytime I'm doing it, like Love just it. regular crochet, whatever, like a, you know, just a straight whatever I can handle. But if I'm doing anything, I have to watch the YouTube video on it like every single time. Well, if you don't love it, don't do it. I don't love it. Not to complain about this yarn. It's the dye lot was weird, but it's super soft. It's almost like the line. Oops. It's almost like that Lion Brand feel. Mm-hmm. And it's by Yarnby, which is, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. I like it. So that's what I've been doing, too. This, this I, I mean, this is when she comes over and plays in the afternoon. You can, what, an hour, I think, it yeah. takes me to whip one of those up. But, mm -hmm. And because she asked for a new color, her next one will be blue and green. So I'll probably have that to show <laughs> next time because she wants the whole thing. She needs a rainbow. collection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so is there... I had planned on having a lot more done for my sewing tier tray. Should I show that stuff or show next time? We'll show I, that next time, I think. We have. I found some fun things to decorate. I have a tiered tray and a box that I'm going to do. But then I need to make a few things to make, make yeah. sense. So I think that's about it.
I, think I get so. to go pick up my snowman quilt. It's been at the quilter, so yeah, um, that's what we'll be doing this afternoon. And I'm starving. Yep. So <laughs> have a wonderful two weeks. Um, join us on our strawberry social. Yes. Show us decorating mm -hmm. ideas. Let us know sewing, about crafting, sewing, crafting, everything. Quilting, cross stitch. So then people will walk in here and say, wow, she likes strawberries. If you have strawberry recipes. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. I like baking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, follow us. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Um, we have our email address if you have any questions or you can comment below. Follow us on Instagram. I'm at White House Stitchery and she's at Carly Court Cottage. I do have one more thing. And then I'm at White House Stitchery on Etsy too. Sorry. That's okay. I reorganized all Oh, yeah. My, yeah I yeah. reorganized everything because I watched Lori's um, video. Floss tube video. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I put all... She, it was brilliant. The chart thing. So I did. <laughs> I put all my... My like... I ordered these from... Because my I wanted them stiffer. So totally off the subject of saying goodbye. I ordered these bags off of Amazon. All of these are my Brenda... Brenda Gervais. It in was one brilliant. Bag. In one bag. Yeah, I mean, if it even it took, if it took three bags, I oh, don't yeah. care. I threw them because my binder looked like this instead of you know closing anymore, yeah, and was. I was throwing them in a box. And I, so I bought these, put them all the like person together, and threw them in a basket. And it feels so much better. To yeah. Get done. So thank you, Lori. So you don't have several like binders and. I had binders. I had a magazine rack. Yeah. That had because nothing fit in the binder anymore. And when you picked up, you know, when the baggies get too heavy in your binder, they start sagging out the yes. bottom. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and so I watched them. I'm like, brilliant, done. We're good. So cheapy. And but these little tags. You they're just... little key tags, and they're reusable, so if you want to. And I actually bought four little baskets to put the fabric in like she does, and then I'll just um, label them with the count. So good, good. Probably take pictures of that for Instagram yeah, we or will. something. We'll try or to show it that. next time. But, but anyway, I just threw these in a basket. These are a little bit stiffer than, like, back, and I have to label everything. So anyway, so that quick one. So we're going to go, and you guys have a great two weeks and we'll see you in two weeks in two weeks bye bye